hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is alkaline phosphatase enzyme which is a very important enzyme used in gene cloning or genetic engineering in this video i am going to discuss two aspects namely first a short introduction to alkaline phosphatase enzyme and second application of alkaline phosphatase enzyme but before going into the details i want you all to understand broad classification of enzymes used in gene cloning i have already uploaded video of it on my youtube channel link is in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand this topic better so without a further delay let us understand alkaline phosphatase enzyme if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads alkaline phosphatase enzyme catalyzes the removal of 5 prime terminal phosphate residues from nucleic acid it is called as alkaline phosphatase because its optimum ph is alkaline the most commonly used enzyme is calf intestinal phosphatase the enzyme is a dimeric glycoprotein with a molecular weight of 14000 approximately it is made up of two identical or similar subunits each with molecular weight of 6900 it is a zinc containing enzyme with four atoms of zinc per molecule now let us understand application of calf intestinal phosphatase or alkaline phosphatase enzyme application of alkaline phosphatase enzyme linearized cloning vectors can be prevented from recircularizing by dephosphorylation with alkaline phosphatase the ligation reaction is performed so as to favor the formation of recombinants this can be done by following two approaches first the population of recombinants can be increased by performing the reaction at a high dna concentration as in dilute solution circularization of linear fragments is relatively favored because of the reduced frequency of intermolecular reactions secondly by treating linearized plasmid vector dna with alkaline phosphatase to remove 5 prime terminal phosphate groups both recircularization and plasmid dimer formation are prevented in this case circularization of the vector can occur only by insertion of non phosphatase treated foreign dna which provides one 5 prime terminal phosphate at each join one nick at each join remains unligated but this is maintained stable by virtue of the base pairing all along the two strands together it will be maintained stable at 37 degree celsius as a double stranded molecule after transformation of host bacteria cellular repair mechanism reconstitute the intact duplex joining dna fragments with cohesive ends by dna ligase is a relatively efficient process which has been used extensively to create artificial recombinants if you are watching my video for the first time please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you